didn't do this found footage, but was there ever a world when you were uh, looking at it and you're like, wow, we could do sort of like uh, security cameras, like you did in Portal No Escape or right. part of that? Um, I never uh, thought to make it found footage, and I've, I'm, I've, I have I've love the concept of found footage, and, and um, I, I enjoy watching it, but I, I'm not really fueled by making something like that. Um, however, uh, I did feel like that first, uh, that, that Cloverfield, its first person perspective um, made that movie so much uh, more of an experience. And I really wanted this movie to also feel that subjective and feel um, less like something being being watched and more um, like an experience. So um, I actually turned to video games for inspiration. I, I, I love um, the design of a lot of these third person action games. If you think of like the Uncharted's or Last of Us, um, those those games feel as subjective um, as the first person shooters do. So um, I think in stealing from some of their design elements, we were able to make this feel, even though it was very classically told um, in a more traditional filmmaking style, you still feel like you are vicariously experiencing everything that the protagonist is experiencing and you really feel in her shoes. I love your character in this movie. She She's able to sort of strive and not fall apart in these really dire circumstances. Yes. I know that personally, like, I would have mm. been crumpled on the floor. Where does that sort of strength come from? You know, she's a very aspirational character for me. She's the person that you like to think you would be in a time of crisis. But, you know, like you said, I think I probably would be having more of a pity party for myself and just kind of crying myself to sleep. But she finds that strength within her. And I think, you know, you get a little a little glimpse of it in the movie in terms of what she's struggling with in her own life and, and what she hopes to be able to do in the future if she's lucky enough to get a future. So I think she finds hope in that and the courage to kind of keep fighting. This is a spiritual sequel to Cloverfield. Right. How do you decide then when you're making it what to include in terms of nods or not include in terms of nods to that first movie? Um, yeah, I mean, it's certainly... Um uh, is is quite similar to Cloverfield in terms of tone and and genre, um, but it, it the exciting thing was that it was really its own freestanding story, and we really want uh, you know I, I think I think JJ's content in particular is is that this Cloverfield stuff can now be a real platform to tell really unique original stories. Yet creeping in are these things that connect them all and. Um, uh, there are elements that are in are in Cloverfield and are also in this movie um, uh, beyond just pure uh, genre and and concepts. Uh, but uh, I think especially if you're if you're following along and there's an ARG that's happening surrounding this movie and that was also surrounding the first the original Cloverfield. Um, there's really cool. Uh, specific nods inside the movie. So, what about the secrecy of a project? Obviously, everything with this is very hush hush. Is that fun or is that hard? Like, is it great being able to say to somebody, "Well, I could tell you about the movie, but then I'd have to kill you"? Yeah, it was. It was fun. I'd say the only times when it wasn't as fun was, you know, I wasn't aware of the fact that they were going to be, you know, not marketing the film until like a month before it came out. So I was just sitting at home going like. Why aren't they talking about this movie? We have this amazing movie, and like, there nobody knows about it. So, once once I kind of finally caught on to what was happening, I was really excited by you know the way that they chose to market the film. But but they weren't like letting me in on that, so that was hard for a little bit. I love uh, how shrouded in a mystery this whole thing is, and it really allows people to uh, watch the movie the way it was designed. There's so many secrets and surprises, not only in the marketing, but also within the movie as it unfolds. Um, so knowing as little as possible is is the ideal way to experiencing it. So that way, once again, you are experiencing it the way that the characters are experiencing it. Um, and I love that what's happening in the marketing harkens back to my childhood when I would find out about a movie um, from from seeing it, going to the movies and seeing a trailer beforehand, um, or even I remember when the Super Bowl, uh, that that Independence Day Super Bowl spot happened, and I was like, "What is this movie?" And even I think it was in the Super Bowl, the Fifth Element trailer, the first Fifth Element trailer, and it was just like a five that came flew by in space, and it was so enigmatic and so exciting, and it felt like, "Oh my God, a science fiction movie from the director of The Professional? What is this?" Um, 
So I love that this is now evoking that kind of thing for audiences today. Um, and I, I can't believe I'm, I'm a part of the, you know, the, the design of it. It's really rad, so.